What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Swipe a Cam. Welcome to the channel. So I want to do a quick update video for you all. It is reported that Michael Porter Jr. is currently getting his back evaluated in Florida right now. Mike Singer from the Denver Post go, went ahead and said that there's a possibility it may require another surgery or he's getting another prognosis from what exactly is going on with his back, which could lead to a substantial time for Porter missing court time or it could be that he's coming back maybe sooner than fears uh, right now there is no expectation it seems internally that they're going to be missing him for the year the possibility he's out for the year there's a possibility he returns after a few weeks or a couple of months we don't know they're trying to figure out what's going on with his back but how does this affect number one the Denver Nuggets well first and foremost we are obviously praying for Michael Porter Jr. the Porter Juniors as a family have been through a lot with injuries so we pray and hope the best for them uh, Porter is a good kid. You know, he's figuring things out. He's only 23 years old, you know, so he's really tried to learn and integrate himself into a system. And given his shooting slump this year, given the way he's played this year, uh, given what happened against the Houston Rockets when he went up for that shot and he couldn't dunk, it makes sense that he has been feeling pain in his back apparently since the start of the season, maybe even since the end of the playoffs last year. Uh, it's unfortunate, you all. It's not fun, especially if you are a Nuggets fan. That is not something that you like to hear. That's a part of that known verbiage called nug life where the worst that can happen happens. so we are obviously praying he gets back healthy soon for the nuggets what it means is that they are not going to have michael porter jr probably for a good amount of time possibly uh right now they don't have yoke because of the wrist injury they also don't have jamal murray because of the acl uh will barton was out because of a little bit of back tightness and then bones highland looks like he's going to be out for a little bit because of the ankle zeke naji is still out I believe because of a, an ankle right now or because of a lower lower body injury so there are just some things that are happening around nuggets culture and camp right now that are not good uh, obviously things you do not want to hear especially given the fact that with this season, the Nuggets look like a bona fide contender uh, with a healthy squad, but right now they're trying to figure out where do you go? You know, how do you replace that production? So there's no replacing Michael Porter Jr. for as long as he is out, but again, you've got to hope that he comes back sooner than later, but really most importantly, healthy than anything else. Uh, they signed a contract again under what I was told uh, with the full knowledge that this is where he was in his health and his back, but they wanted to reward him. They believe that uh, even if he has a, a mishap this year with the injury, that this is not something that will threaten his career. So they signed him to the extension. People have to remember that the Nuggets have their own set of doctors. So they've been looking at his back and evaluating him for months, for years now, really. Um, and they felt comfortable going forward to offer him the the max contract with the potential of 207, uh, with the potential of 172, but really around 148 to 146 million dollars. So it's not what you want to hear if you're a Nuggets fan. Uh, but what I would want to say, just to offer a glimpse of hope, Jamal Murray will come back. Aaron Gordon is playing the best he's ever played for the Denver Nuggets, and Nikola Jokic is better than he's ever been. They're trying to figure out the pieces on the outside of the team with the role players, what they're supposed to be doing, where they're supposed to be going, play style, all the other stuff. But the facts of the matter is they have a great young core intact. The oldest player in the big four is 26 years old. Will Barton is having career year at 31 years old. you got rookies like Bone Highland. You have young players like Zeke Naji. They have talent. They have the pieces to get it done. This is a championship roster, but it's just going to take – some time for them to get there because of the injuries, because of where they've gone. Uh, Ryan Blackburn recently posted a piece today for the Denver Stiff that I think is a really great look into what it ha what exactly has happened in Nuggets history with injuries. David Thompson gets hurt uh, in the year they were contending. Uh, that kind of ruined their chances to win a championship. Alex English gets hurt against the L.A. Lakers. It ruined their chance to win a championship in the 80s. And then, obviously, Danilo Gallinari got hurt in 2013. Anthony Carter with the inbound pass in 2009. And now here we are in 2021. Yoke, MVP, best player in the league right now. Uh, and, and he's having to play out of his mind, but Jamal Murray is hurt. And now Michael Porter Jr. looks like he's having some serious issues with his back. So, again, it's not great. It doesn't feel good. But there is hope in the fact that the Nuggets have a roster, a competing roster. Uh, they have the best player in the league. And they will figure this part out. But, again, I don't want to rush and say, like, you know, dismissive of anybody's feelings. You know, this is the place to air it out. I get it. It's not fun. It's not something that you look forward to. You never want to hear that one of your great young stars is having this, these kind of issues. But I think, again, it makes sense for why 
Porter was struggling as much as he was to start the year just simply because he was having issues with his back that was affecting his shooting, it looks like, affecting his dribbling, uh, affecting his overall game. So it's it's not fun. There are just so many things that you wish different. Uh, if you're in Denver, if you're a Broncos fan, you know, they re-signed Cortland Sutton today. They re-signed Tim Patrick. They got Jerry Judy, got KJ Hamler, got Albert O. o- they got Albert O. Uh, Okwebunam, they got Noah Fant, they got Javante Williams, Melvin Gordon, they got a nice defense, Patrick Sertan II, Justin Simmons, Kareem Jackson, Ronald Darby. Uh, then here you go with the Nuggets, and they can't they can't stay healthy, and then the Broncos can't get a quarterback. So again, if you're in Denver, I get it. it it's just been it's been really hard. Uh, but we are in this together. You know, this channel is here. Uh, we're going to continue to talk through this stuff, but I wanted to give you all an update on what is happening around the league. And again, we will be back when the Denver Nuggets play against the Portland Trailblazers, you all. And hopefully Nikola Jokic can come back. If not, he's continuing to rest up. But y'all, let me know in the comment section what you think. Follow me on Twitter at Swipe Cam, and I'll see y'all soon.